Hello. I'm Thomas. And I'm Spencer. I hope you enjoy our skit. God, man. I don't get any of this condition statement stuff. What don't you get? All of it. I will help you. Goody. Okay, let's start with the form it is in. It's in an if-then form. It has if, a hypothesis, then, and a conclusion. For example, say that whenever you did laundry you got a dollar. It would be, if you do the laundry, then you will get a dollar. Not too hard, right? Gee, you're right. That doesn't seem so hard after all. Now let's talk about the converse, inverse, and contrapositive of the condition statement. The converse is just switching the hypothesis and conclusion in the statement. Using the earlier example, the converse would be, if you get a dollar, then you did laundry. Wait. That doesn't make any sense. I could do lots of other things to get a dollar. I'm glad you noticed that, because the converse is usually not true, if the conditional statement is. Though sometimes there are exceptions. Anyway next is the inverse. The inverse takes the original statement, and makes the hypothesis and conclusion negative. Again, using the example, if you don't do your laundry then you don't get a dollar. That one is true, right? Well technically in real life it's true, but in math it could mean, if you don't do laundry you get any amount of money. In math you have to consider each scenario possible. Um, what? Confusing much? Moving on, the next is the contrapositive. The contrapositive takes the conditional statement and flips it like in a converse but it also makes both parts negative like the inverse. Once again using the example before, if you don't get a dollar then you didn't do your laundry. One trick with all these versions of the condition statement is that, if the conditional statement is true, then the contrapositive is true. And if the converse is true, then the inverse is true. Though if the conditional statement is true, don't assume that the converse and inverse are false, because it could be that all the statements are true, or that all the statements are false. When that happens it is called a but conditional. Uh, okay I think I get it. The conditional statement and the contrapositive are called equivalent statements, as are the converse and inverse. Gee thanks. I think I will ace the test now. No problem bro. With a little bit of practice anyone can be great at inductive and deductive reasoning. Thanks for watching. Dang dude. Talk about some staged fright. I think I'm gonna be sick.